Hello, uh, Ty Ingmeyer here. So uh, what we're going to talk about briefly are the, the different type of loan programs if you're a buyer. Um, there's, there's basically, there's a few different types. Um, and you start to look at uh, how much down uh, money is required, um, but also how much those really cost you at the end of the day. Um, you might hear, you know, terms like FHA, VA, USDA, uh, those are all government insured loan programs, which means that the government has some stake there where they're, uh, they're giving uh, the buyer the ability to purchase properties with lesser money down. Now, the, the perfect scenario is 20% down in any, in any transaction. From there, you can get a conventional kind of loan or a normal kind of loan. Uh, conventional loan doesn't have MI or mortgage insurance is what that is. Um, it's generally the cheapest kind of loan, um, most competitive as far as interest rates go, uh, as well as you're not paying that mortgage insurance premium every month, uh, which is an additional cost. Um, so that that's the best type. If you have 20% down, that's great. There are some 5% conventional kind of programs out there uh, that are kind of sneaking back into the market. We'll see where that ends up. Um, from there, you're you're looking at a, at an FHA loan, and FHA stands for uh, Federal Housing Authority, uh, and it is a loan program through the U.S. government that uh, allows buyers to only have three and a half percent to put down on a property. Now, generally, there's a there's an upfront mortgage insurance fee, so that's rolled into the cost of the loan. So you may be purchasing a hundred thousand dollar house. Well, the with the up, upfront mortgage fee, uh, your your loan is you know. $103,000 or whatever that is. So there, there's an upfront mortgage insurance fee as well as a monthly mortgage insurance fee, which is a recurring fee that keeps on going through through the loan every month uh, until you hit um, an 80-20 ratio or you have 20% equity in the home and you only owe 80% left. Um, from there, you have a VA loan, which is the Veterans Administration. That's a, a benefit to, of veterans uh, for them to, and depending on your your status um, with the VA, um, you can qualify for you know for different types of loan programs there. But that's a, a really good loan program if you're a veteran. Um, and then um, common out here in this area is the USDA loan. It's the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Sounds weird that we're loaning on houses, uh, you know, with the Department of Agriculture, right? But those loans are 100% financing in rural areas. Now, what can be described as rural around here, um, basically anything east of I-25 um, that's not Thornton. Uh, it can't be in Greeley proper, um, but, you know, Frederick, Firestone, Decono, Fort Lupton, Hudson, you know, any place further east all qualify for that USDA loan program. There are some spots in Brighton, but it's the very extreme northern part of Brighton that qualifies. Um, and that's a great loan program because there's um, there the the mortgage insurance rate on that is quite a bit lower than the FHA insurance rate currently, um, so it makes a for a much more affordable kind of loan. You can you know you can purchase more house with your money basically. Um, so though. Those are the general types that, that we're seeing around here currently. Um, the other one is a, is a CHAFA loan. If you're a first-time or even recurring buyer, you can take advantage of, the, of a CHAFA loan. And a CHAFA is the Colorado Housing and Finance Authority, CHFA. And what that loan is is it's the $1,000 down loan program. It's actually a bundled kind of program with an FHA loan. So there's a first mortgage, which is an FHA, and then there's a second mortgage, which is a CHAFA loan. Now, with that FHA loan, you know, that upfront mortgage insurance fee is still in place. The, um, the monthly mortgage insurance fee is still in place. Uh, the only difference there is CHAFA is willing to give you a second mortgage, you know, for the difference between $1,000 down and 3% down that you would need for an FHA. Um, the the interest rate is generally a touch higher on that on that loan product, so it, it's definitely not for everybody. But if you're if you're working with limited resources and you're looking in you know Brighton or Thornton, North Glen, Westminster, um, Longmont, Boulder, you know those kind of spots uh, require that. So phone's ringing here. I got to go answer that. So uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye bye.